Okay, we're rolling. Hello, everyone. If you're new, welcome. If you're new, welcome. And if you're not new, then welcome back to my channel. My name is Brenda. I know it's been a really, really long time. Um, I've just been having a lot of fun with like the shorts and things like that. Um, let's just jump right into the video because I have a couple of favorites that I really wanted to talk about. Let's just start off with the first one being face wash. So I actually posted on TikTok a while ago and a lot of people, like I was reading through the comments, were all saying La Roche, I guess like the Roche, how do you say, dang Brenda, La Roche Posay. And I'm sure you have definitely seen um, this brand before. It lathers really, really well. Like literally you just need like half of a pump, add some water, really get in there and it gets really foamy. And when I wash my face with it, it doesn't feel super stripping, but I feel like my face is clean. Like it really will break down my makeup. Cause see, quite transparent with y'all, I don't really have a makeup wipe or like a makeup balm I used to, but I don't have the funds right now to be buying a makeup balm. So I sometimes, if I have like makeup on my face, like right now, then I'll just use like a full pump of this for my whole face and just lather for like 60, 90 seconds, which you're supposed to be doing. So that's like my favorite cleanser, honestly. I'm almost done. It's, you know, this is like my empties kind of review of the month type of thing. This whole thing has lasted me like three months. Like, and this is the 13.52 fluid ounces bottle. It's lasted me about three months now. Um, amazing amazing a little bit make sure my lash not okay a little bit goes a long way 100 percent. a little bit goes a long way and it's I, I mean it is a little bit it is a little bit pricey but i think that like it's definitely doable just because of how long it lasts so i highly recommend it because my whole thing was looking for affordable like i don't want to spend like 30 40 dollars on a cleanser and this one i think i don't remember the price i'll put it somewhere in the screen but I feel like this is definitely worth the price just because you get your money's worth. Like a little bit goes a long way. And I used to use the Notarium, you know, Notarium by Susan Yara. Love, love Notarium's brand. Love them. I have like, there's vitamin C serums, retinol. I have it all in my cabinet. Um, but just like as an empties for the month, highly recommend this cleanser for beginners, for everybody, every skin type. I just gotta say that. Second product that I'm like finishing up and I really do love and it is versatile. Let me tell you something. I love a product that's very like multi-purpose, <laughs> okay? Like I can use on my face, you know, I like my products to have multi-use, be multi-use. So the second one I would definitely say is this Pinoxol. Um, I'm sure you have definitely seen this before. Like, I mean, for sure. Um, but it's but benzoyl peroxide. I know a lot of derms on here or just in general will recommend this for your face, but also like your armpits or like where you sweat. And let me just tell y'all this, okay? Your girl be sweating, okay? I be sweating. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm very transparent about that. Like I just sweat a lot and like my pits, you know, it's been a whole journey that I'll talk about maybe another video. Trying to stay away from like super like fruity smelling deodorants because that doesn't actually do anything about the odor. It just masks it. So with this one, what I've heard is scientifically, because we because we believe in science around here, um, is that basically the ten percent or the benzoyl peroxide it kills off the germs. So basically, when you sweat, right, there's germs that not not germs, there's bacteria that emit the smell that you smell. So what this does is it kills the bacteria that you know emits the smell. So if I, what I usually do is in my shower routine is I'll put this thing under my armpits, like rub it under my armpits for a little bit. And then I just leave it under my armpits for a good like one to two minutes. Like I'll just be detangling my hair when I didn't have braids. Um, and I would just like let it do its thing under my armpits. And then the longer that it's, it tells you how long to leave it under, well, at least like, let's make sure. Yeah, if you have sensitive skin, I would not recommend this. And I'll go into why, but basically, I leave under my armpits for one to two minutes and even that once i rinse it off like for example last night i had put under my armpits for one to two minutes it's now i don't know 6 p.m on a friday night and my pit smelled just smelled just fine for someone who sweats a lot that's just me that's just me i'm just saying so highly highly recommend and if i am so another thing too is it says on the bottle is to use on your face so if I feel like I'm breaking out like crazy, then I will usually put it on my face. 
um if i'm like the if i feel like the um polished choice is not this lipstick acid is not doing enough then i'll just put this bad boy on my pimple if like the like the the la roche posay or any silicic acid face wash or acne treatment that i have is not doing the job or it's like this is for this then i'll use this to like really you know get his job but i will say i would not recommend using this like back to back like don't some people i think apparently from what i've been reading on comments people be using this like every single day i would not because I used it, I think, like, two days in a row, and oh my gosh, like, I could feel, like, my skin just feeling super sensitive to the touch, and, like, I had put on my sunscreen on, and even then, like, it just was, like, not it, not doing it for me, like, it, it just was, like, you could just tell my skin was just sensitive, and it stripped whatever I needed to do to get the, um, you know, the pimple out, whatever it is, anyway, this is a good multi-purpose, this top tier i love it and i'm almost done and i'm really excited about that since we're talking about acne treatments if you don't know about this product or if you haven't seen it on your facebook ad or amazon whatever it is i don't know where you've been and that's totally fine we don't shame here we're not going to shame you for not knowing this product is it's just like i feel like i've seen this ad or just like maybe it's for me and this lash but like this is the polish choice um skin perfecting two percent bha bha liquid exfoliant that was a lot but this right here i've had this i need to look back at my purchases and i'm gonna edit here somewhere obviously the price i've had this thing this is um four fluid ounces i've had this for at least two i would say two three years i remember when i first purchased it and i was like man i really want like a you hear that it's like a little bit left but I remember I was like, I really want an expo like something like that to exfoliate because this is when I was learning about physical exfoliants versus like chemical exfoliants. And I didn't really want, and I was trying to gear away from like, I don't know, St. Ives. So I was like, I want this. And I remember purchasing and I was like, man, like $30 with shipping and everything included for this little bottle. It's worth it. It's worth it. Honestly, like I know Naturium also has one. I love Naturium. I personally, ever since they launched, I just love something about them being affordable and all these different things. Um, obviously this is not sponsored. There's like, no. <laughs> not that I'm saying it won't ever happen, but I'm like a small channel. Like I'm, I'm not sponsored. I genuinely do like Naturium. I just compare them just because their whole like advertising thing is like affordable, good quality, like not spending a whole arm and a leg for skincare. Um, but I know they have like this version of it, any 2%. I think even like, um, what's the company? The Ordinary, they probably have one. A lot of brands have their own like silicic acid and the average is usually like 2%. All that to say is um, this one is top, top tier. And I'll usually use this like two to three, two to three times a week where I would use my face wash. I'll use my face wash or any kind of cleanser. And then I'll let it, you know, dry a little bit, put this on my face and then that's, and then I'll moisturize um, my face, which I'll get into my favorite moisturizer of all time. Super simple. If you know me, I love keeping my skincare as simple as possible. I don't like adding too many things. And I think even like Dr. Dre on here was like, if you have multiple steps in a routine, it's less likely that you're going to do your skincare routines. And I'm like, I agree. And also just like, the simpler the, be the simpler the better in my opinion so yeah this one highly highly recommend it's a really like you can also use it like the benzol one like an acne treatment you can put all over your face and then moisturize you don't know salicylic acid is the that ingredient that you want to like fight the acne and like exfoliate your skin without being like a physical physical exfoliant where it's just like too much since we're on the topic of skincare i just have because i kind of like alluded to this this right here this okay this is the avino like um this is the avino, avino intense moisture and it's like super dry skin but baby i use this 365 days of the year this is my second 2020 yeah i've been using this for two years really really good affordable once again is drugstore and i try not to use anything too heavy scented i know like if you know anything about skincare sometimes, sometimes fragrance can flare your skin. And I'm just like, my skincare doesn't need to have any fragrance in it. As Dr. V will say, we're not a salad. <laughs> 
so anyway i just have to shout this like i'm trying to see if the camera will focus like okay maybe you'll see it but like i just had to shout this moisturizer out avino really did that with this moisturizer because it's super moisturizing and i know once again dr v that's where i pretty much learned most of my skincare from is that i prefer a cream or like a cream is what i prefer based off of what she said you know a lotion doesn't it's not as like lotion kind of evaporates over time i think that's what she said don't quote me on that one whereas a cream in general just feels more like it's thicker it's like more you know um moisturizing for me personally and also when the ac on during the summertime and with the heaters on during the winter time i'm like let me just use this all over my body so a little bit goes a long way once again back on the topic of a little bit goes a long way it makes your money's worth um really 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 good love it 10 out of 10 love this um moisturizer and i'm really really sad that it's gonna be done soon and it has triple oak complex in it which if you know about skincare oats is very calming on the skin and really nourishing so i mean that just makes it even better in my book and next i think second to last i'm looking at my list second to last like empties and i'm gonna say i was alluding to her the um inzinkable um no white cast like for skin of color if you know dr v on here she launched this i think about two summers ago like this was the second summer and summer i think last summer she launched it and i've had this i bought two tubes i don't i can't even tell you what the other tube is <laughs> but i know that this is pretty much done um and i'm kind of i was kind of iffy about putting this on my list just because it's i don't know i'm just like how do i feel about this like i don't know like how do i feel about this i will say from an ingredient perspective i am not a cosmetologist i am not an esthetician i am not a dermatologist it's just like from an ingredient perspective i just trust her and i know that it was definitely doing what it says like where it's broad spectrum and spf 50 high uva and uvb so i feel like for protection purposes i got it but i feel like for consistency i feel like with those the idea of it being invisible i feel like so i'm shade 430 in fenty if you want to have like an idea like shade 430 I feel like if you're like shade 410 or lighter or 415, I think that's a shade, this will look in invisible on you. But I feel like there were some days where I feel like I couldn't really add as much as I wanted to just because I didn't want to be out here looking like Michael Jackson. So I don't know. I just feel like it was kind of like eh, for me sometimes. But there were some days, once again, like I was saying, like literally there were some days that I feel like it was good. The ashiness wasn't too bad and there were some days that i was like you can clearly see a cast a little bit but i think that's because during my summer shade i'm like probably like four my winter shade is like 420 my winter shade is like 434 my summer shade is like 430 435 which i think they have now but anyway overall i think it's a good product it i mean it, it does what it says you know except for like the invisible part but once again i feel like if you don't add as much it's not as ashy but then i'm like that's literally the problem with us with like black women just dark-skinned people is that you kind of have to not add as much sunscreen you know what i'm saying anyway i think it's a good product i think it's definitely worth the try um clearly you can see that i'm conflicted about this product just because i love dr v i think from a formulation perspective it's really good but if you do have super oily skin I would not recommend this product. Again, if you have very oily skin, I would not recommend this product, okay? <laughs> like, it, it can be, it wasn't like super greasy on me, but I couldn't imagine on a very summer, hot 90 degree weather in New York, you would, it just would be too much on your face. So, but overall, I think it's a good product and I'm done with it. And uh, yeah, it lasted me. I didn't, I was switching between another um, product, but I think it's a really good one, so last but not least this is like a hair product but i was just like i want to mention like a hair product um but yeah so last but not least this kinky curly stellar strands hydrating deep treatment this right here is really good i had like um a hairstylist i had like a hairstylist like mentioned this a while ago like i, I switch my hair like i go to like a curly i get like a curly cut and things like that um but she recommended this kinky kinky curly line because in my natural hair i use a lot of 
kinky curly like this line is kinky curly i use their leave-in conditioner and i also use their curling custard but these this deep conditioner is actually really really good it's thick a little bit goes a long way <laughs> and i really and you don't need to leave in your hair that long but i feel like for the curly hair natural girls natural people out there this is like i would say a 10 out of 10 my biggest problem is like I'm a cheap, okay? I, I, I could be a little cheap. It's funny because I'm bougie, but then, like, I like a deal. <laughs> but I would say, like, it is a little bit pricey. I don't remember the price of these things. So maybe it's not as pricey because I've had this for a while. And I don't have that much hair. My hair is not that thick. Um, but 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Okay. I don't know why I did that. That's all for me when it comes to my little product empties. There were some that I was like conflicted on if I should share. If y'all like this video, let me know down below and maybe I can say another product empty or like a September end of the month. What month is it? Maybe I'll do like an end of the month empties kind of thing, favorites. But to be quite honest with y'all, I don't really finish products that much. Like maybe like every three months I can do this because I don't really be finishing things like that. And if I do finish something, it's probably going to be the same things that you see in this video. I like to keep it very, I don't know. I like to keep a schedule. Like if a product works, like if it ain't broke, my thing is don't fix it. So I rarely ever try new products and I don't want to consume. I just don't want to be buying a whole lot of stuff and then just have it sitting there. I, and give me some video ideas if you have any. I know it's been a while, but if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and I will see you on the next one. Bye. See this like fate. Do y'all, can we get into this? Can we like, okay, who am 